Hi, this is Julie Harlan. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where I organize my videos by topic. A fraction that contains one or more fractions in either its numerator or denominator, denominator or both, is called a complex fraction. Below are five examples of complex fractions. Um, complex fractions are not in simplified form, and there are two common methods for simplifying a complex fraction. In the first method, both the numerator and denominator need to be written as single fractions, and then you can multiply the numerator the re by the reciprocal of the denominator. In my example, the very first one is in that form, so method one works very well for that. For the rest of them, method two is actually easier for most people. You multiply the numerator and denominator of the complex fraction by the least common multiple of all the denominators of fractions in the numerator and denominator, and this eliminates the complex fraction in the first step. We're going to do this example, and we're going to use method two because it doesn't have just a single fraction in the numerator and denominator. So we're going to look at the fractions that we see and look at their denominators and decide the least common multiple. So in the denominator, there's a six in the numerator and there's a nine for the four ninths in the denominator. So 18 is the least common multiple of six and nine. So what we want to do is multiply the entire numerator by 18 and the entire denominator by 18. In other words, we're making a, a, an equivalent fraction by multiplying by one, 18 over 18. All right, so I have to distribute my 18 to all the terms in the numerator and denominator. So I have 18 times 5, 6 minus 18 times 2x. We have 18 times 4 ninths plus 18 times x. So if you want, you can write 18 over 1. That's up to you. Or you could just leave it as a whole number. And then since we multiply by the least common multiple of, of these fractions, 5, 6, and 4 ninths, you'll definitely be able to cancel. So 6 goes into 18, 3 and 9 goes into 18 twice. So there are no fractions over here for 18 times 2x or 18 times x, so there's nothing to cancel. You're just going to be multiplying. So 3 times 5 is 15. 18 times 2x is 36x. And then the denominator, I have 2 times 4, which is 8, plus 18x. Now, that is our answer. Um, what you would normally do is see if you can factor and simplify this further, but it's not going to work, but that is something you should check out. So, for instance, 15 minus 36x over 8 plus 18x, if you did factor the numerator, you could factor out a 3, which is 5 minus 12x, and in the denominator, you could factor out a 2, which is 4 plus 9x, and there are no common factors. So this would be the answer if you left the numerator and denominator in factored form.